they do not want your children to be educated. They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, game shows, television shows, amusement parks, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. And all American citizens, I think, have suspected something like this is going on. But we're all too busy trying to stay alive and live our lives. And after all, what can one person do about it? Shalom, Yasser Ali Shalom. This is your Ak Kudash Alahayim coming at you with another quick lesson. First and foremost, I like to say Ka Hala Abanawa Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai Hamashiyat Amanawal Barakata Yahawa being the name of our Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Lord of Hosts, the Almighty, and Yahawa Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And pride is the beginning of sin. I know you see this Formula One event taking place here in Babylon, Las Vegas, Viva Las Vegas, right? It's a bunch of distraction. It's a bunch of folly, man. Brothers and sisters, y'all stay in the spirit. Don't be distracted by the Roman circus. They say you give them bread, they'll never revolt. You give them entertainment and they will never revolt, man. It's time to stay focused on these laws, statutes, and commandments in the faith of Hamashiach Yahawashah. And I got a quick question that I've been asking myself for the past couple of days is why do people feel like the rules don't apply to them? Right. Not just in everyday society, but but the laws of God, the rules and the instructions that the most High gave us. Our people feel as if the laws don't apply to them. They feel as if they are above the law, that they don't have to keep it right. And to answer my question, I, I I came to the conclusion of people just feel like they are exempt from keeping the laws. They are the laws are beneath them, right? A lot of times it's the pride, because pride goeth before destruction. It's the pride that our people have deep down inside their heart, where they feel as if they already chosen, they already gonna make it to the kingdom, and the laws don't apply to them. It's pride. With a, com with a combination of the lack of maturity, some of our people still act young in the mind, like a young child. A child feel like they can do whatever and get away with, with all the evil that they do. That's a that's a childlike mentality, man. A child going to push it to the limit until they get caught. And if nobody don't check them, if no nobody see them doing evil, they're going to continue to do that evil until something happens to them. The same with... A grown ass man here in Babylon today, man. They lack maturity and they lack self control of, of their mind and emotions. That's why they feel like they don't have to keep the laws of the most high. You know, and um some of our people genuinely genuinely don't know the laws of the most high. In Hosea four and six, it explains that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The children of Israel are destroyed as a people because we lack we lack knowledge, man. We don't even have knowledge of the commandments because the pastor is not telling us a damn thing in them churches, man. But let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 10th chapter in the 13th verse. And it reads, for pride is the beginning of sin, right? Pride is the beginning of sin. What is sin? According to 1 John, the third chapter in the fourth verse, sin is the transgression of the law, right? For pride is the beginning of transgressing the law. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Right? Because that ego, that arrogancy, where, where our people feel that they're above the law, that they don't have to keep the rules. Oh, I don't have to uh I don't have to go to I don't have to uh, honor the Sabbath day. I don't have to honor my parents because the pride is in the way. Oh, I could eat abominable foods. That that rule don't apply to me. Because of the pride that's in the way. And guess what? The most high brings strange calamities on you people, man. Right? Infirmaries, illness, diseases. He brings strange calamities and overthrow you utterly. Right? 
Let's jump to the 15th chapter, Ecclesiasticus chapter 15 and verse 20. And it reads, he have commanded no man to do wickedly. Neither have he given any man license to sin. Right. So nobody has the green light to commit uh, transgressions against the law. Nobody. Right. He commanded nobody to do wickedly. All right. So that decision you making to be evil. Hey, that's your choice because he told you not to do it. Everybody stay in the spirit as much as possible. Let go of the pride because the most high hate pride. That's abomination in his eyes. Right. And with that, I like to say, call her law. Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, Amanawal, Barakata. This HOI Las Vegas is HOI to the cherries fly. Kwam Yasharala.